Sup Nom guys, thank you so much for joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? Justice, okay. I feel like you are starting to, well, well like not starting to, I feel like you have maybe even finished some kind of process of or some kind of happening or experience of seeing things for what they truly are seeing things for how they truly operate or something like that right i feel like you've overcome some kind of difficulty in regards to um like yeah with the ace of wands as well i wanted to say wheel of fortune and ace of cups like on a very on a very human human comprehension level you've like overcome some kind of difficulty in regard to seeing the brighter side of things okay i feel like you um you've gone through such an like such a consciousness thing like upgrade or something maybe or journey that I, I kind of want to say, I kind of want to say, you're going to start, you're going to like very easily see how, how like tangible reality is for you. Like you're no longer like you manifesting is, is becoming something of like just a mind switch. Like, oh no, it's not this. It's actually this silver lining situation. And then it is that. Okay. The Ten of Wands, this was a lot of, like, um, pressure, and this was a lot of, but this was an ascension. This ascension you went through really made you see the truth of the whole situation, okay? Or it maybe even, like, the whole ascension kind of, like, allowed you or taught you how to kind of digest everything. How to cook everything and to be digestible for you, you get what I'm saying? And the five of pentacles. So, I feel like I have spoken of this before. This is kind of like, you know, I, I was actually speaking today about debt. I was speaking with somebody about debt. And this person was like, um, yeah, but like I'm this much in debt and then I, I kind of like made them see it differently by explaining to them But like you need to recognize that the amount of debt that you had is yours Meaning that is like a creation or a life force or an energy that you um, continuously Sustain or just have or whatever. Okay, and so like the the whole thing here is again the whole the seeing the perspective if you see the debt as something that you have and control and can actually utilize to grow more with then it's gonna be that way okay so i feel like you you might even be um starting to experience a lot of um like almost impossibilities okay like happening in your reality okay because lack is a concept, is something, is energy. You get what I'm saying? And you can use that any which way you want. And also, like, the super wealthy, like, utilize debt uh, as leverage to, like, gain more wealth, right? So anyway, let's see. Uh, we have the Five of Swords reverse. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm hearing, like, a lot of, like, sunshine songs. This is giving me, um, like, uh, I'm hearing, like, the dog days are over. Like, there, there, I'm also hearing something about, like, um, blue skies ahead, you know, sunshine, etc., etc. Um, you know that also that song from Shrek, the fairy godmother, um, like, or not the song, she, she gives the car to Fiona and she's something in regards to, like, it's just a, a teardrop away or something. But I feel like in your case, it's just a... Not a forced smile, but just like a, a perspective shift away. Like literally, I feel like you're about to experience this. Um, I'm hearing even happiness cohesion or something like that on a consistent basis. Okay. Or you are already experiencing it on a consistent basis. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. 
I feel like I feel like it's almost like life is like reality, physicality is becoming like a mirage to you. Like that's the level, at least that's the level, the level you're ascending towards. And for a lot of you, again, like the energetic experience of density isn't necessarily actually you descending or going into lack. It's actually the pressure, okay? It's the 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 teaching how to utilize lack to create abundance, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You get what I'm saying? And this lack and spirit and this lack and abundance is, is specifically telling me to say I'm meaning that in a very spiritual or divine sense, as in like uh like confidence and I am power, okay? But like life is becoming a mirage to you, like truly, truly. I feel like you're about to um or you are already seeing how your how your thoughts I feel like you might think something and then things happen or things pop into existence, but I feel like you're about to even start seeing how things mirage into the things that you want to manifest. And it's because you're in this like I just heard pep talky. It's because you're in this like very um like just happy vibration i want to say okay the hierophant yeah and like this happy vibration is creating your reality like what you see just is you know but i feel like again you haven't seen it in such a direct way as you're about to like you've seen kind of like the matrix rearrange itself in like I don't even want to call it coincidence because it's obviously not coincidence. It's obviously create your power, right? But like the outcome, the outcome could have like happened via coincidence, which doesn't make it any less valid, right? But now I feel like you're going to see it without coincidence, if that makes sense. Like you're not going to see like a bird flying and dropping a diamond. You're going to see a stone mirage into a diamond. That's what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm still trying to convey this energy. Like, it's just, it's literally just a smile away or it's like something like that. Like, you're about to see, um, not just choosing like higher vibrational energies. Like, I'm, I don't feel like you're choosing happiness over depression or anything like that. I feel like you're literally just choosing like, no, it is what I say. Like, that's the happy vibration I'm talking about. This very divine vibration I'm talking about. And so you're about to like actually see, it's not just what you say, but it's like literally what you think. You're going to see things mirage into other things. Okay, let's get the other two cards. The nine of wands, okay. I feel like that is some, oh, oh, that's lovely. The, and like, it's kind of like this threshold or this boundary that you actually crossed. You're like, like looking past it now. You get what I'm saying? Like it's behind you. The laws of physics or the, the, not the laws of physics, but the belief in the laws of physics or something like that. The belief that you're restrained by them or something like that is behind you now, okay? You've like, you, like you haven't only really seen beyond, beyond the veil. You like are beyond the veil, right? You operate beyond the veil, right? Like you don't even see this veil anymore. Like it's, it's kind of like maybe you've even, like you're about to forget about this veil completely. And that's why you're going to see things mirage, Okay in and out of existence, into other things. I'm hearing again, like quantum physics, you know, but like the state, everything is constant vibration. Like you're really affecting that with your thoughts, okay? Oh. And the five of wands reverse, the high priestess, and also we have the seven of cups. You're about to be, oh my God, nine of cups. You're about to be so, or I feel like you are, you're like, like speak in present, right? Like your energy is completely like, I feel like, I don't know. There's just like no competition. Like you're about to see, like there's like, matter like and i feel like the veil that i was referring to is this concept or idea that you can't affect matter or that it's hard or something i don't know but like matter doesn't have shit on you okay matter doesn't have like any kind of um sway i kind of want to say with the seven of options seven of uh cups as well over you okay like you've completely crossed that and, and i feel like like six of six of pentacles eight of cups you've walked into you've walked beyond the thing and like your 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 reality is miraging now okay um i don't like mean to sound disrespectful or anything but like i, I keep being reminded of some kind of like hindu concept of like 
not the Shakti, but like the feminine aspect being the physicality or something. It's almost like that aspect, like that, like, like physicality or I don't know, like the laws of vibrations and shit like that. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. And I feel like you're finally seeing that you're not just experiencing it energetically. You're not just, just experiencing it via coincidence. Your reality is miraging. Okay. So it's like, um, Th this isn't giving me infinite options. This is giving me like the, this option card is giving me this energy of again, like it is what it what, what I think it is. You like not even say like it is what it is, and it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? I'm even hearing something about like f like fuck the double slit experiment. You know, like there's only one slit, motherfucker. That's mad. And like yeah, uh, <laughs> you know. Okay, but anyway. Okay, thank you so much, collective. That was your reading. Please consider liking, subscribing, donating. Uh, contact me for a personal reading. Everything is in the description box.